Hey everybody, this is Larry with Delta Tactical Training Group. I'm at my house today getting ready for a hunt in October. I've spent the better part of uh, all day staging gear, prepping, cleaning, trying to find stuff that I've misplaced for the last two seasons. And uh, my man, instructor Bobby G just showed up and uh, ultimately we do what we always do. We end up getting distracted and breaking out the blue scorpion coffee and sitting down and shooting the shit and uh that's where we're at today in fact my my man is on his way up right now bobby come on in thanks for the uh for the invite <laughs> i appreciate this I, I mean i honestly i wasn't uh expecting this you know i just stop by and say hello to you and next thing you know i'm on, I'm on your you're, show you're on i love it you're on camera baby <laughs> so many of you already know him uh, but in the event you don't, I wanted to introduce you to him and uh, talk about his background just a little bit. Um, again, he's Bobby G, a.k.a. Robert Guzman. He is a Delta Tactical Lead Law Enforcement Firearms Instructor. He is also a full-time sworn peace officer. He works in a large metropolitan city, which shall remain unnamed at this point. Um, and uh, he is also the owner of Blue, Co Blue, excuse me, Blue Scorpion Coffee Roasters, and he is a roaster extraordinaire, and he keeps me hooked up. I couldn't live without it, and like I was saying, he lived, when he stops by, we literally stop what we're doing, and we break out the coffee, and we start drinking, and we ultimately, we start talking about coffee, guns, combatives, hunting, survival prepping you name it we're talking about it um but i wanted him to talk a little bit about himself for a minute if you don't mind uh, just uh bobby guzman uh, i'm in law enforcement 24 years i do criminal investigations now so i wear a suit and a tie uh, i like to travel a lot i like guns i'm extremely patriotic i uh, love america uh, and uh, I love teaching firearms. Uh, we teach law enforcement and civilians firearms and uh, you know hooking up with uh, Larry Treat uh, and working for Delta Tactical, teaching civilians and people that want to uh, be responsible gun owners is really really the, the, the best feeling in the world. So uh, that, so guns, trains, coffee. I'm a, a huge coffee fanatic. I've traveled all over the world in search for that uh, Top quality coffee. So yeah, this is top quality coffee, Blue Scorpion. Um, you can find us at, on Instagram, uh, Blue Scorpion Coffee, or uh, or Facebook. But you know, I think it's the best coffee. It's uh, high quality coffee, and the best part is that we don't uh, we don't roast until we get orders. So you, you we don't keep anything on the shelves. Everything is uh, hand roasted just for you. So. I like that it's delivered to my door too. That's not a yeah. Bad I mean, thing. if you're local in the San Francisco Bay Area, we'll we'll deliver it to your door. You know. But anyways, I, I know you're. <laughs> uh, we can talk all day about coffee. That's a, that's uh, a whole other segment. That's another probably. segment that we're gonna do. But today we're gonna talk a little bit about guns, about Delta Tactical. I know that uh, you've been very busy uh, during the last uh, few months. There's a lot of stuff going on here in the country right now. Um, I know that I visited uh, visited Hook Line and Sinker, one of our. Uh, companies that, uh, that are associated with us and I walked in there They're and, out. and it was a ghost there was there's no guns uh, I think there might have been like three hunting rifles maybe that's it yeah uh, very scary there was no ammo it's insane it, it was insane and uh, and I visited a couple other uh, gun stores it's the same thing so there's sort of this this fear. well yeah we're busy and and it, it we people are afraid and people do want to learn how to defend themselves and they do want to learn how to shoot and uh, they do want to purchase firearms and ammo and it's tough right now um, just gun parts alone ammunition it's tough to come by I know I found some luck on um, some of these big district through some of these big distributors optics planet I, I'm doing a couple AR builds and I was finally able to get a couple uppers um, some uh, other gun parts. In fact, I got a EOTech this afternoon in the mail and that'll finish a build. But that EOTech took over two months to get. I had given up and it just showed up again today. So um, I was encouraged, but that's that's sort of the, uh, the situation. It, 
if you want to get into this sport, if you want to get into it seriously as a uh, as a, uh, a means of self defense, anything related to firearms, you need to come into it with patience these days. It's not like days of old. So, um, with that, you know, we're looking at civil unrest and and this pandemic and and gosh, just the political climate uh, that we're dealing with in our country, and it's created this uh, phenomenon. We're seeing so much going on in our country right now. I think you need to be prepared, and I think you need to be ready to go at any time, and that's why we're really pushing for um, people to learn how to properly defend themselves and be prepared. And so we uh, mentioned briefly about my hunt I'm getting ready to go on. I'm, I'm heading to Montana in October and I know it's a month out, but I like to start getting my gear together early. So today, all day long, I laid out all my gear that I believe I'm going to be taking. I'm sure I missed something, but I've got a list and I go down that checklist and I'm ready to go. So basically, my plan allows me to be successful in the field. And um, I think that's uh, how you should be with whatever endeavor you undertake in terms of preparation, self-defense, self-reliance. I think you need a plan and I think you need to be prepared. So today though, I, I think I took our organizational skills to the next level. I went and saw my good friends, Joe and Lance at the Antioch 511 store today. And I told them my dilemma that I'm, I'm organized, but not as organized as I need to be. And Joe promptly brought me over to this section that had this uh, this system for your seat, uh, your car seats, and I, I fell in love immediately and walked out of there with two of these. They're hex car vehicle ready uh, hex grid system. I think. I hope I didn't just just uh, annihilate that, but I I think that's what the word. I'm going to show it to you in a second. So. Um, on the, line, all on the lines of preparation, um, I wanted to show you what I did in setting up my truck so that it's ready to go at a moment's notice, whether we're going to the range, whether we're bugging out, whether we're driving to Montana on an antelope. So uh, without further ado, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show them this. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and uh, it doesn't surprise me because you're a top-notch guy. Everything you do, you do it right. Um, and well, not everything. <laughs> Almost everything, and your preparation skills uh, are, are phenomenal. And I think part of that is because you and I were were both in the Marine Corps, so Oorah. part of Oorah. so part of the uh, being in the military, being in the Marine Corps, is, is a lot of preparation before you actually um, execute uh, the mission. Hurry up and wait. Exactly, but you're prepared. So that's right. Uh, so you don't have to be in the military to be prepared. And that's right. That anybody can do it. Then that's why. Uh, we're you know showing you this and, and, and discussing things like this because any any person can can prepare and uh, you're taking your preparation to, to the next level. You have a beautiful truck that's uh, that's well put together. Uh, it's equipped, you know. It's it's specific for what we do. You know, we're we're doing multiple classes a week and we need to be prepared. We need to be organized and that just ups our game. That makes us much more efficient. I think from a customer service standpoint i think uh, our clientele they appreciate it we had a remarkable private last weekend that blew their minds and uh absolutely it, we're, it was we're... a high level training session with high level vips and and i i think we pulled it off it was a good one absolutely and uh and you know you, got, you have this new mobile command staff com uh, command uh, it's vehicle the yeah the trailer the trailer that's uh is equipped with a lot of stuff that, that we can't discuss but that's very very uh, nice but it allows us to get up and go you know if if um, we want to go to another state and train then we just hook up and go we're ready so 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 you bought this beautiful thing i haven't seen it yet um yeah let me but, let uh, me show you what uh the guys at 511 antioch put me on to let's today. do this let's do this look forward. so i don't know if you guys can see this or not but this is their hex grid it's it, i think the 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 name is is vehicle ready hex grid system so basically this stretches over your seat and it straps around in the front and 
this platform will allow you to attach pouches. I mean, I could do a product review on every one of these 511 pouches, but that's, a, that's another segment. Um, for now, I'm just gonna show you basically what I've got going here. So everything that I had stored under the seat, in the center console, the glove box, the side, the, the doors, I was able to pull all that out and organize on the back seats it's it's remarkable so like i've got a little eye fact i've got another little blue kit here most of this stuff is 511 gear but i've also got some other products too so it's all molly it's a molly system so it makes everything real um real adjustable um the system itself the panel came in this pouch and i'm just using this pouch to, to store uh towels and then and this is the second one. I've got nitrile gloves and other rubber gloves. Um, it's very I, nice because you used to have this like in a box and even though you were you were complete, it was kind of hard to go through stuff. And now it's like amazing. It's, it's, it's super easy. It, it was chaotic before and you know, that's we didn't know any better apparently, you know? So we just kind of limped along and I just think this is gonna be a game changer. I love these pouches. So this pouch, and this is what Joe showed me. Um, he loves this too, the guy at, the, the manager at 511 Antioch. So this thing expands, so it's zipped. And then when you unzip it, it drops down. And I just threw my uh, Hydro Flask in there. So I've got, you know, I've got, you name it, I've got it stored in here. I've got bandages, I've got tourniquets, I've got all kinds of gear. I've got writing utensils, spare flashlights, spare batteries, etc. So basically, this saves so much time and frustration. We're able to basically just load the big stuff and the little stuff's already taken care of. We can get in, grab it, and go. Very so, impressed. I'm very impressed. Very, very nice. Yeah. So that's what I've been up to. Well, what do you day. what do you got in the little box there? That's the EOTech I was talking about. So can we see it? Because yeah, you know, big things come in small packages. Oh yeah, it, it's a green dot. It's it's this it's so bright and so beautiful. But um, oh, it's green. It's green. Yeah. So mm -hmm. theoretically, and again, I'm not an expert, and I'm not, I'm not I don't purport to be a, an operator of of any sorts, but. I've never had a, a system like this. This is a first, so I'm gonna put this on top of a Nevesky AR build. But green, supposedly you can pick it up, pick up that that red dot better in daylight. You know a lot more about these things than I do, but this thing took me over two months to get. And it's from Optics Planet, so I tried to go to EOTech Direct. They didn't have any, none of the distributors had any. They were back ordered and they, this is like their, uh, I don't, what's the name for that when they do the, the, the private label? Yeah, they private labeled, uh, so Optics Planet private labeled this EOTech um, op mod. It's beautiful, I love the color. Uh, yeah, it'll go good because I've got kind of a two tone, uh, that desert, that desert sand color and black, so that'll look good on top, but that, that light is so bright green, it's pretty phenomenal. So we'll put that on top of the Noveski and then maybe we can do a product product uh, review another time with once you install that on the Noveski. We'll do that. So we had to cancel the AR class because of all this smoke, but we'll we'll get that going again and then we'll do a product review. I love it. Okay. So you so you guys this was super impromptu. So I it's probably pretty rough, but you know, we're pretty rough. So I don't know, Goosey. We're we're not pretty boys. Yeah, we're just yeah, we're just, we're just the just, average American God loving USA pistol guns, rifles, hunting, coffee. coffee. <laughs> I mean, that's just us. Right? Yeah. So uh, I'm very impressed, man. Good, good job on all this. I know that, that if anything happens, I know where I'm coming to. Uh, uh, you're, you're, you're pretty pretty set up. Bring your guns, bring your ammo, man. We right. got this. So anyway, so Delta Tactical Posse. Um, we, I guess we'll sign off for now. Yeah, I, I, mean, I hope we, you found this informational, maybe entertaining. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, it's uh, uh, Instructor Bobby G and I'm Larry Tree with Delta Tactical Training Group and uh, train for the moment.